What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, International Now Worldwide Syndicated. That's what it's all about. Saturday morning. Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network. I talk about a lot of things in crypto platforms, stuff that's going on in the crypto world, YouTubers, all kinds of stuff. Because that's what it's all about, being the most shocking, most polarized, the most electrifying YouTuber there is today. Can't help it, but it's just, people want real shit in crypto, and that's what I bring. I bring it. I don't sing it. I bring it. All right, coming to you in another video. So, I thought I'd talk about some platform updates this morning. Um, four, primarily, all right? <laughs> Well, one is not really anything to talk about, but I'm just going to throw it in anyway, just because it's it's a polarizing platform, right? So the first one I'll talk about. Well, let's just get this one out of the way. <laughs> no update on Metify Yielders. Um, with Metify Yielders, supposedly Michael came out and said, um, you know, the other... You know, last time I did an update about how they're going to re deregister and blah, 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 and all this other crap, right? And once it's deregistered, and if it actually does happen, I mean, regardless of the fact that you deregister or not, uh, I, it's it's done, all right, regardless. This, this shit will not come back, all right? How about that? It's not coming back. Deregistering will really formalize it for good. It's gonna put a stake in it, put it, you know, a, a co you know, a stake in the coffin. It's over, all right? It, it's done. So just throwing that out there. And uh, let's go on to uh, this one right here. So this is the latest in the line of platforms that just exited. BN Trust. This was uh, pretty much a COTP clone I guess you could say um, it's kind of like a twin but just different colors and stuff and different name but it's pretty much similar if not the same except it, I think it paid out more daily uh, but yeah this one is the latest one that just exited uh, let's see it's Saturday morning I think it exited like it was starting to hold up withdraws Thursday and people were waiting for hours for their withdrawals and so I think it was pretty much clear by Thursday night, Friday, that this thing was done. So being trust is done. And so it, ha it didn't even really hang around the space for that long. I think it was just kind of take advantage of the times of the COTP. People that, you know, were into this kind of thing. I mean, they even had a script and everything and, and all that stuff. And, you know, it. It made out early on for some of the people, but it didn't really last that long. You know, it could have, I guess, because there, there was a lot of traction. There was a lot of interest, but for whatever reason, they just didn't want to carry on. So, yeah, being trust is over. <laughs> it's done. And so uh, moving on to uh, m &E FX, right? Of course, I bring it to here because the website's gone. It's down. And... When you used to click on the website, it would just take you straight to this, but it doesn't even do that anymore. So, which is this receivership page. And usually when it goes to a different holder or entity, it's usually done anyway. You're not going to see that shit again. And a good example is Mirror Trading International. That one went to a different holder, kind of similar to a receivership and we never heard a thing from them in the beginning. Even after they, they even arrested the the CEO of that platform, right? The Johann Steinberg and, you know, extradited him and all that stuff. And that's it. <laughs> there's no talk about the crypto. There's no talk about the money. There's nothing after that. So, yeah, mirror trading is dead. They're not paying anybody back, obviously. Um, even though I went to a different holder, uh, in, in a form of like a receivership on that part. So I'm going to say the same thing with m &E FX. There's no, they're not going to pay it back. <laughs> there's, like, there's nothing that's going to come out of it. 
And so with that, let's look at the m FX uh, latest update here because they posted the other day. So let's see here. The latest was, let me see here. Eminem FX family. Now that we were waiting for August third, let's review what's already known as members. Last week, Monday, the prosecutor and the receivership received a stack of statements showing all the trades that have been made by Eddie Alexander since last year on behalf of members of Eminem FX. Uh, because of that, a total of uh, 107 million dollars was shown in that trading account, apart from the 62 million in reserve and apart from 14.7 million that Bank of America was withholding and which started all this. Now that the $107 million trading account is a problem for the prosecutor and receivership, who all along said that Eddie did not do any trades as a Ponzi scheme. He was just taking money from Paul, the new members, to pay Peter, the old members. So according to them, there would be no more money found in MNFX. It is possible one of the main reasons for the gag order is, ready, is really for the prosecutor and the receivership to have a reason not to put any additional uh, info out to the members that would undermine their message to the members that this is a Ponzi and that you may not be able, be able to get all your money principal and ROI. Now that you have seen the videos on YouTube which clearly shows uh, Eddie having a vote trying to close registration to not have additional members is also a problem with their narrative because a Ponzi scheme can't survive without constantly adding new members. Uh, not only that, but Eddie's seen over and over again every Thursday night telling the members that you don't you don't need to invite anyone. I mean, you know, it's, it's the same thing with, uh, you could go back to Medify Yielders and the same thing, right? Oh, we don't need new members. We could just be on our own and, and it's the same thing, all right? And that doesn't really mean nothing, you know. This is a similar situation with Medify. Dude's shown his face on Facebook Live constantly. Done numerous interviews with a lot of people. This does not really prove anything. All right. Uh, you can argue the same thing with Medify, and this is this is the exact same script, right? Um, also, the government case against Eddie has actually hurt the members because 107 million was more, but because they have stopped I mean, effects and Eddie has not been able to trade. They inadvertently caused m effects to lose some money. The good thing is that Eddie was very frugal in his management of m effects and never traded all the funds, only a portion of what was needed to ensure he could keep his promise of 5% to 9.9% to the members. That's a high return, though, actually. I mean, it's a pretty nice high return. Um, again, we can all, we could call on all the members to pray for the prosecutors that they will allow God to get, to guide them in the truth and do right blah 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 pray for Eddie yeah and then they translate it to a different message uh, a couple of other different messages here and uh, let's see here so here's some important questions that the members would like to hear from the prosecutor um, I don't know because they've also shown proof of all the things that he has done bought the real estate the cars didn't really do anything with the money, so it's it's so. <laughs> I mean, it's so like nothing. It, there's no gray area. It's either one end of the spectrum or the other, which is kind of crazy. So it's just yeah, it's just a, a big mess, and obviously to me, um, yeah, this wouldn't be a case. If they haven't really shown proof that Duke just bought real estate and bought the cars and all that stuff, all right? Um, because just like any other crypto platform, you know, it's it's one of those things. You know, it, you get in early, you you take the benefits of it, and then at some point, something happens, right? Something happened with this one. That's why it led to this course direction. Especially if you're operating in the U.S., I mean, what do you expect, you know? And um, that's just what happens, right? You get, you, you're going to get in some serious trouble. You're operating in the U.S. doing that shit, and that's what happens, right? You're, you're now you're arrested. You're in court doing all this stuff. So that's the latest on M&E FX. <laughs> uh, you know, they're doing stupid stuff like. 
you know, wear the Eddie t-shirts in support of Eddie in front of the courthouse. Yeah, go do all that, all right? You guys are a bunch of morons. Um, next one up here. Here's one I haven't seen, have, you haven't seen in a while here. So let's go, whoop, not this one. Let's go over, uh, is it here? No, it's over, where is it at? Oh, here it is. Zephra. All right, so when you log into Zephra, all right, uh, let me see here, Crypto Muscle. And when you log into Zephra, this message pops up, right? It's a four page message. I didn't even realize it. I haven't logged in so long uh, because of the circumstances to it uh, in terms of how they tied up the people's money that took a bone um it's kind of like a bonus deposit for anybody you know for a bonus package um as a way to get people to come on board especially under me or a couple other people you know and then all of a sudden they decided to say oh we're gonna hold you to that now it's like oh, wait a second you offer that as a bonus as a perk but yet you're going to throw that back against us. That's kind of weird, right? So yeah, there's some bullshit like that. So they just put out this letter in Spanish, right? A four-page letter. So here it is, all right? By this means, we want to communicate that what we shared in the corporate Zoom we held last Saturday, May 21st, in which the main point was to reiterate the thanks to our community we have achieved throughout the 30 months. Together, we have met great goals. So this is probably what happened after the you know, the whole Terra Luna stuff that really much, pretty much killed the market <laughs> at that time. Or disrupted, not killed, but disrupted the market big time. All right. As Bitcoin dropped, all that stuff. So uh, they say here, we must clearly and transparently mention the global financial context that is affecting our activities and altering the dynamics, blah, blah, blah. So there is a reality that the crypto market has fallen sharply in recent months. Um, let's see. And just like traditional bags, the large financial indices have also been affected and never before in history. Global technology companies, multi million dollar losses. Google, for example, lost 300 million uh, this year. Shares of a giant like Netflix falling more than 40%. So, Zephra is a global company and all that stuff to deal with the situation since last February. We have been working with experts in various areas carrying out a major restructuring and to mitigate the impact. Uh, negative trend has been even more marked in these last 60 days in the crypto world. Bitcoin alone has lost 35% of its value. All right, so a lot of this shit, they're trying to come to a justification on what they're going to be doing, all right? So by this, we inform you of the actions that we have launched under a plan of a 90-day contingency without adding a greater burden that can continue to advance negatively affecting our, our results. After this period, we'll, we'll responsibly execute a staggered sequence of payments of all the accounts since it is our duty to continue. Uh, we are very confident. So they're adjusting how they're operating and how they pay out their rewards, which is the profits. Um, so for this reason, the purchase of licenses, renewals, and account increases are suspended. Uh, the case for reward generation per account has stopped until August 31st. So um, you're not going to be earning anything. You can't deposit. You can't uh, upgrade. You can't renew. None of that stuff. It's, it's like a pause across the board to August 31st. That's the whole summer. And the request for withdrawal is reactivated from the month of September. So pretty much this whole summer is going to be locked down. This will allow us to operate current resources under the aforementioned readjustment and comply with the return of C capital uh, with which each license was open through a staggered payment plan uh, as of September 1st and until fulfilling the commitment of the return of initial contribution. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see if they actually do that. I mean, it'd be nice. I wouldn't mind getting my deposit back because uh, they kind of wronged a bunch of us for that. Uh, on the commercial part, we'll work on alliance with the uh, company Decentra through a voucher program to continue generating profits. So all this crap, they're doing a pause all summer. That's the latest on everything. 
and uh, these platforms. Wanted to put it out there. Comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.